The Sam Fiox Show! Thank you, Matt Cannon. New intro instead of Matt Holmes today. Um, I'm here with... Okay, I know I say this every time, but Tim Herman literally is one of my favorite people in the whole wide world. And I even hate running, and I still say that. Um, he is our strength and conditioning coach here at Western. He rocks. Say hi. Hello, everyone. How you doing? <laughs> okay, Tim, you recently got married. I did. How's it going? It's fantastic. Best decision I ever made in my life. Really? Yes. I'm so happy to hear you say that because he's been all alone with no life besides us for so long. <laughs> I don't care. You can't punch me on TV. <laughs> and now you have a life. I do. I have a wife. Oh, that's true. Life? Uh, my life before that was um, Western Athletics and Western Volleyball. And now I have a wife. And no offense, but you guys are in second place now. We're never in second place. You're in second place. Priority, not place. Wife. Volleyball. Okay, fine. Um, how long have you been here? I have been here for 14 years total. You're uh, old. Did, yes, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Um, our next session with volleyball training <laughs> is in about 45 minutes. This is the one time I can rip on him and he can't do anything about it. Um, but I have been here for 14 years, undergraduate. You went uh, here, yeah. yes. Undergraduate studies. Graduate studies, um, graduate assistant, hired on full time as an assistant, and then I've worked my way up to the head strength and conditioning coach for Olympic sports. Boss man. I am. Um, what sports do you work with now? Specifically, I work with volleyball, men's, women's basketball, hockey, men's, women's tennis, and then I oversee everybody else. And we're all winners, right? We are all winners. Um, can you explain to people? the relationship you have with your athletes? Because I don't think people realize how, like, not, like, entwined you are in our lives, per se, but but you, you do, like, okay, we see him every day. Like, he's seen us at our worst well, and at our best, hopefully. Mm -hmm. But can you just talk a little bit about that? Uh, it's a very unique relationship. Yeah. It go, like you said, it kind of goes well beyond the weight room and the whole strength and conditioning title. Uh, I have very a number of hats that I wear. Mm -hmm. um, it goes anything from the mental aspect of things to kind of dissecting your guys' lives, where you're at, and how we can better you as athletes, mm -hmm. but also better you as human beings um, and ensure that you're going to be set up well uh, down the road. But specifically, we deal with the sports side of things, but you know, I can handle everything from... You handle the mental aspect, yes. too. Yes, yeah. And it, and it covers everything from how you prepare to how you handle home life to how you handle dorm life to the transition from one to the other to how this is all going to relate to the court and what we're going to do and how we're going to best prepare ourselves to, yeah. uh, to win. I like it. What, just volleyball specifically now, what is the difference, what, what's our schedule like for conditioning and then what's the difference between summer and spring? Huge difference. Um, our summertime training is my time to mentally prepare you as well as physically prepare you for the rigors of the season. Um, I want to make sure that when you guys get to the court that it feels easy. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to put you through everything that I can possibly think of that's going to prepare you. So when you get to the court, you face not only the, the physical pressures of a match, but the mental pressures as well, too. So when we do get to game situations, you guys feel that this is easy. Do you yeah. think it helps with team bonding also? Because oh, that's when our freshmen come in. Definitely helps with team bonding. It, it without a doubt, helps get them up to speed. Um, during the summer months, they come in um, and, and, they, and they work with us, and they get to know you guys. Mm -hmm. uh, and they can establish kind of a role and, and um, a bond and not have to worry about classes and practices and going through two-a-days or what team we're playing this mm -hmm. upcoming week or whatnot. Yeah. So it really allows them to get set up with you guys uh, and in a good spot too and know that we're all on the same team and, and trying to fight for the same wins uh, come weekends. What about spring? What's the goal there? Is it different than summer? A little bit different. Uh, spring is all about raising the bar. Um, we get to spring and we've gone through our season and it's time to figure out what we did right what we did wrong, and um, how we're going to get better. Springtime is one of my favorite times of the year. <laughs> so we're saying that they excel at <laughs> springtime, let me tell you. I can't wait. But are we going to do teams again? Um, undecided on teams. We um, do teams. We have a gold, black, a gold team and a black team, and they like compete against each other. 
My team, the only year we won was the year I actually didn't participate because my knees were true. Because Sam's such a good runner, too. <laughs> um, so we talked about that. Do you think that having the summer, and even the spring, for because you're still a freshman, do you think that's a good uh, drawing point, like a recruiting tool, I guess? Because I know we always mention we talk to recruits, but... It is. I mean, it, it's good because... It establishes how hard we're going to work. Yeah. Um, you know, during the off season, we need to establish to our, our incoming kids that we're not taking time off. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to try and ensure that we're out working our opponent no matter what time of year um, and always working toward the goal of becoming the best team uh, mm -hmm. and playing at our optimal level. And I think that's, that's huge that, you know, incoming freshmen know that, that our recruits know that, that... We're a very hard-working team, yeah. and we're not going to settle for we are. mediocrity. I like it. Um, what it, you're around all the teams. I guess this is not just volleyball. What are some of your favorite memories of things that have happened, either like conditioning-wise or places you've been, tournament experiences, funny things? There are too many to count. I mean, after being a strength and conditioning coach for going on 11 years now and as an intern and as um, a grad assistant and, and full-time, I can't even begin to tell you how many memories, Some good highlights. and bad. Um, Volleyball-specific ones that will always stick out, um, the Brazil trip um, that was, really fun. was fun and an experience. We bonded that trip. We did bond that trip a lot. He did my rehab. The whole time <laughs> through. Uh, I think I had her in tears half the time. That was the usual face. <laughs> um, probably the most memorable volleyball training experience will be Michelle Moore. Um, at an early 6 a.m. run. I wasn't even there, and I love this story. Um, and a very taxing run at that. It was not an easy one. We're going through what has been our standard for our conditioning, and we call it 2140s. We've talked about this. And we have to run 2140s and roughly... Seven minutes, yeah. about. Um, uh, and as taxing as it is, Michelle Moore, um, we're at maybe halfway through it, rep 10. She takes off from the starting uh, starting blocks, gets about 10 yards into her sprint, loses breakfast, and <laughs> continues to sprint through what breakfast a champ. What a champ. as it comes out and makes her time. Um, and, and just kind of brush it off and, and finish the rest of the 2140s, and that was that. Uh, we blocked off that lane, obviously. And I think that's, yeah, Michelle Moore is something else. And that goes into my next question, actually. How many, can you even count how many people you've made throw up? Because um, I'm one of them. I, this kid. <laughs> I used to keep a tally, and I quit keeping tallies. Yeah. Um, it would be now, hard. it's never a goal um, of mine to make our athletes throw up. It happens. It happens. It, it just does. That's kind of the intensity level where we're at. We're not, I'm by no means trying to make kids throw up. But um, if you don't prepare yourself before my training sessions, it's going to happen. It happens. It happens.